Traditionally with box cutter, whether you're using dynamic grid or you're drawing shapes, there's a certain fade time that's applicable to all of our systems. So if we expand on the behavior dropdown and we go to display, we see that we can set a fade time. So I'll set it to something like 300 and we'll set our out time to something like 600. And now we see that whenever we draw the shape, it fades in and then we click to complete, it fades out. You can even set this to something like 1200 and get a really large fade time, which allows you to draw multiple shapes and have them fade at the same time, which can be a really interesting visual experience. Extractions can also have their fades adjusted. For example, right now we have extraction out set to 700. This means if I were to draw a box around this area and press Y to extract, we will see this for basically seven milliseconds. But if we set this to something like 1200 and we change our shape back to box because it sets you up to custom once you extract, and we press Y, we see that the shape can stay around for a little bit longer. Whenever it comes to grid, there's also fade settings that are for that and dots as well. So we see that with grid, it comes in at zero speed, meaning it comes in instantaneously. However, we could set this to something like 20 and we can set the exit fade to something like 600, which means that the grid will take a brief moment to come into view, but also take a brief moment to exit whenever we release control, which can make for a more graceful experience whenever it comes to using box cutter. So definitely get in there and set up your fade parameters to be something a little more advantageous to your experience. Fade also extends to dynamic dots, but not to static dots. So whenever we're looking at dots, we can set ourselves up with something like 600 on the exit timing for dots. And then whenever we release, whenever we release control, we see that they fade out very nicely. So there's a lot of functionality whenever it comes to fade, but it is one of those things that I find that I just can't live without. And I'm always glad to see it expand further inside of Box Cutter.